I got upper body and core today. So what you need today is a chair, um, hopefully without armrests. Don't worry if you don't have one that you can do the move on the floor as well. Um, and a towel or some kind of a scarf or a strap. Um, we're gonna use it for this. Whoo, bicep curls. So something long enough that you can put uh, underneath your um, foot there. <clears throat> if you have very light dumbbells or hand weights or maybe like a water bottle, um, also not completely necessary. You can do the move without it. I think it's hard enough. So, ready to start? Let's get going. Start with wrist extension and flexion. So just in front of you, just flex your wrist like that and then make a fist and bend the other way. So bending your uh, wrist down and then up like this and then like that. And just go back and forth. Just warm up those wrists. And then you're gonna come to your knees. We're gonna continue with the wrists, hands in front of you. You're gonna bend a little forward to make a nice little stretch, then come up to your fingertops, just to kind of uh, warm that wrist more. So stretch and extend. And then we'll do some shoulder rolls. You can stay on your knees, don't have to even come up. Roll your shoulders in big, big, big circles. Let's get that upper body nice and warmed up for today's work. And you can dance if you want. Get some movement in your hips. <laughs> Go the other way. Reverse your circles. Then arm straight to the side, reach as far as you can and rotate your shoulder blades. One goes the other way, the other hand goes the other way. And try to reach as far as you can with those fingertips. And just rotate from that shoulder blade. Huh, uh. <laughs> I wanna get some dance moves in there. All right, onto your knees in a half plank position. We're gonna do scapular push-ups. So just from retracting and protracting your shoulder blades. Do a couple of times, then come up to a plank and to down dog for a second and return. One, two, and to the plank and down dog. And then come to kneeling position. One arm and the opposite leg go up. And then the other one. Keep your core nice and engaged. Nice flat back the entire time. Do not arch that lower back, even if when you are reaching that back leg up. That leg doesn't have to go all the way up. Doesn't have to go that far. Just get that core Core warmed up too, prepped. Where are we now? Okay, plank. Okay, then walk your knees to bare position. So they're right here, kind of like in a kneeling position and then do shoulder taps in that position. Your knees are just inches off the floor. Walk back to plank, back to bare. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Plank, bear, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Try to keep that core tight. Do not swing from side to side as you move your legs and your arms. Your hips stay stable. Breathe. And that's it. Let's get that chair 
for our first move. And you're gonna need, well, you're not, if you want, you can use the hand weights if you want. So your belly on the chair, you're hanging here, your feet are on the floor. You're gonna raise your, raise your elbows up like this, then rotate and extend, bring back, rotate back and down, okay? So weights are completely optional here if you want. I think it's hard enough without. I'm gonna do at least the first set without the weights. Lift, rotate, and extend. Nice and slow, control. Keep your core engaged here. You don't want your lower back arched here either. And uh, then we're gonna come down to elbow plank. On your elbows, lift up your knees. Just as in those scapula push-ups, push your shoulders, you're protracting your shoulders up, away from the floor. Push away from the floor with your shoulders and your hips, tuck your hips. So not like this, tuck them under. Think of bringing your hip bone and the lowest of your ribs closer together, nice and tight, right there, just hold. Just hold this first one. Just breathe into it. Come on. And rest. Okay, back to the chair. We got chair dips. So hands on the chair, on the front end of the chair. You're gonna do a tricep dip. And then just lift each knee a little bit. And dip at the top position. Really push up with your shoulder blades. Up, 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 push up, 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 up with your shoulder blades. Shoulders as far away from the ears as possible. Come on, dip. And nice and easy. Your butt is really close to the chair. Do not go here. You don't want that kind of torque on your shoulder. Butt slides on the front end of that chair. Ah, there we go. Going back to the core, dead butt on your back. Your knees are in tabletop position. Let's go, hands. Opposite, opposite leg and opposite arm. Extend, okay? Leg goes out, arm goes out. Nice and easy, not fast, slow, go with the beat of the music if you want. Bang. Keep that core tight, the lower back is on the floor the entire time. Squeeze it in, your belly button towards your spine. Two, one, and we're gonna go repeat that. So we're going back to those Cuban presses on the chair. Belly on the ground, chair. Add the weights if you want, if you want, okay? Core tight. Rotate, extend, bring back, rotate, and down. Super lightweight, if you want, if you want. So all of your upper back is firing up with this one. Keep that core tight. Do not arch that lower back. If you don't have that chair, you can do this on the floor too. Just do this part. Oh, there we go. Into the elbow plank. Let's go. Okay, nice and tight. Push away from the floor with your shoulders, ribs and hip bones closer together. Now if you want, add leg lifts, one at a time. One at a time. Do not swing from side to side with your hips. Keep it nice and tight. Yes. Woo. Keep the butt low. Keep the butt low. Push away from the floor with your shoulder blades. Almost there. And rest. Back to chair dips. Okay. The front.
down on your chair and let's go dip push up really up with your shoulder blades as far as possible in the top position keep the shoulder blades down away from your ears
big, easier, lift your legs higher up for the hollow hold. All right, stay right there. We're gonna do hip thrust, then lift one leg over and back down. Let's go. Hip thrust, lift one leg, the single leg bridge, and then repeat on the other side. Really squeeze those glutes at the top. Have your heels close enough. You can almost touch your, touch your heels with your fingertips there. So you target more of the glute muscle rather than the hamstrings. Having your, your heels closer to your butt. Come on. Keep the rib cage in. Do not go from here. No rib boobs, okay? No rib boobs. Keep that rib cage in as you push up. Yes! And rest. We're going back. Repeat the whole thing. Chair plank on the first side. Oh, let's go. Come on. How are you doing? Yes. Keep that core nice and tight. Do not swing from the hips. Make a fist and squeeze harder if you don't have a weight. Come on, keep the shoulders away from your ears, back down, back and down with the armpits. Yes, five, four, three, two, one. And we're going to the towel bicep curl. Now you're balancing on the other leg, okay? Which one was it? Oh yeah, this way. <laughs> and let's go, come on. Grip that floor with that foot that's on the floor. Make like a tripod. Your big toe, your pinky toe, your heel are all pressing to the floor equally. Come on. Press a little harder with that foot, come on. Make it heavier. Your elbows are by your sides. Your elbows are by your sides, shoulders are back and down. Come on. Just the biceps are moving. Or the elbow is moving, bicep is doing the work. Two, one, and put that towel aside or on your chair if you have a hard chair. We're doing that plank move on the other side. Whew. Elbow on the chair, let's go. Breathe, exhale. As if you're burning, I mean, blowing out those birthday candles on your cake. Focus on that, on those shoulders and hips being parallel to the floor. Hold it, hold it nice and tight. And three, two, one, and that's it. Go back to the banana move. This time, okay, from here, they're gonna roll all the way. Give me some swimmers right here. Swimmers on your belly, then roll back down, up. Let's go, come on. Got some swimmers here, then roll back to the other side. All the way to your belly, then roll back. And keep rolling and swimming. Rolls are much harder than they look. Ugh. Come on. Swim. Keep that lower back glued to the floor. And there we go. Back to the hip thrust. Stay on the floor. Okay, hip thrust. Single leg. And down. Up. Lift that leg. Left foot down. And hips down. Again, push those ribs down. No rib boobs. Uh, your core is engaged here too. Your glutes are part of the core, by the way. They also have a direct relation to your spine and you're uh, controlling your pelvic
pelvic area. Uh, and that is it. Ooh, one last circuit, guys. We start with a slow push up down. So eccentric push up is down. So on your on a, in a full plank. Even if you have trouble with full push ups, try to do this from a full full uh, push up. So you're going slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, all the way chest to the floor. Release your hands and then push up. If you need to do that on your knees, then knees up. And do the lowering part from your toes. Nice and slow. Release hands and push up. Slow, slow, slow. Control it. Release hands and up. And if push-ups are easy for you, feel free to push up from your knees, okay? Only do that push-up from your knees. The push-up part if you need to. But try to think of lifting your body up as one unit. So not like this. No, one unit. All right, next time. Scapular row to sit up. Okay, on your back. Your elbows are by your sides. Now you're lifting yourself up onto your elbows like that, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Then lower down, you're gonna come to a sit up and then push your hips up to the tabletop. Let's go, come on. So, scap push up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, then come up to a sit up and to reverse tabletop. Come on. Squeeze the shoulder blades together there. Onto your elbows. Yes. And. Okay, elbow plank. Your hands on the opposite elbow. Okay, from elbow plank, you're gonna come to a side plank. So reach for the ceiling with the hand, then come back to the center and repeat on the other side. Let's go. Slow and controlled. Nice. Pull those hips up toward the ceiling. Come on, don't let them sag. Invisible string pulling you from your hips to the ceiling. Come on. And that was the last one. Oh no, one more. Side kick through in a bear position. Knees are off the floor. Now kick one foot to the side. You come to sit almost like a sitting position. Hip on the floor, leg is off the floor. Hello. And then repeat to the center and then repeat on the other side. Make sure your knees are close to your elbows in the starting position. You're not out here. Okay, knees are close. Nice and controlled. Keep that leg off the floor. Hip bumps onto the floor there, but not the leg. Point straight to the side with the heel of your foot. There we go. All right, we repeat that. Starting with a slow push-up. How are you doing? Woo. Last round, last round, guys. Last circuit. Slow down on the push-up. Release. And up. Slow, 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 slow. Release. And up. If you need to, do that up part from your knees. But try to think of your trunk as one unit. So the rib cage goes up with your hips not after your not before your hips so down slow release and up and there we go scap rows on your back get those elbows those elbows are close to your body not out here close to your body so push up squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back and the sit up and push those hips up. All right, let's go. Keep blowing those birthday candles as you exhale. Yes. 
seconds. Yes. Lock that looking good. Awesome. Let's go. Woo. Yes. And rest. We're going to the plank. Elbow plank to side plank move. Okay. And let's go. Side plank. Now if you want, you can do a thread the needle. So push your hand toward the back wall. Back wall. Okay, switch sides and bring arm and hand through the hole and then back up. Switch sides. Keep those hips up toward the ceiling. And try to go as far to the back with that reach there. rest Whew. we got the side kick through if you think it's easier start start here hello then lift that leg up into bear and on the other side extend that leg try kicking all the way to the side and Pick up the pace a little if you got the move down. Your foot also pivots as you go to the side. Your foot also pivots to the side. There we go. Oh, you guys are done. Woo. Let's do some stretching. Let's go into child's pose. Cool down a little. Uh, my music doesn't want to start. Just breathe right in there. Get a nice stretch into your shoulders, into your lats, your back. And then come on to your hands and knees and let's do some cats and cows to arch your back and then round it up go at your pace try to think of maybe going vertebrae by vertebrae from your neck to your all the way to your tailbone and then reverse start from your tailbone arching and then your shoulders come last and your neck and then reverse And then we are going <coughs> chest. Let's just stretch that chest, chest on the, on a wall, either on a wall or a door frame or something, what have you, and do a door frame like that. Just feel the stretch right here. You can also experiment doing it from your elbow, bending the elbow, whatever feels better. And switch to the other side. Side. Elbow bent is more like the, um, it's a little different muscle that is being stretched. With the straight arm, you feel it kind of all the way to your arm, too. Oh, I'm dripping sweat all the way in my eyes. And then bring your hands overhead, bend one arm and grab that elbow keep breathing exhaling and grab the other hand stretch awesome job guys Saturday morning, nice start. You guys can congratulate yourselves. You did something good, you took time for yourself. And then let's get those wrists. We were a lot on those wrists. So again, the same thing as in the, in the warm up. So make a fist, bend your fists down and then open up that fist and point those fingertips toward the ceiling. And again. Couple of times and 
that is what I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it.